Hello, this is Brian Resney, president of Resney Wealth Management. It's question and answer day. You know, we, the year's off to a great start in our opinion, if you're properly positioned. A lot of investors did very poor last year on their portfolio because they chased previous year's winners, which never works out, to be brutally honest. But one of the things I want to talk about, and we've had a lot of calls on this, is when you're buying stocks or you're buying any investment, how do you research a stock? Do you go off like a Reddit site? Do you, do you talk to your neighbor who's golfing with you about a hot tip? No, don't do that. The people that are really in the know are the people that do a lot of research, and it's usually people you don't hear a lot from. Now, while my firm manages money, and I do have a, a syndicated TV and radio show, and I give a lot of educational information to all of our TV and radio show listeners, the majority of my time and my staff is spent doing just a lot of research and money management. And it's brutally hard, it's time consuming, and one of the things I try to stress to every investor, if you're buying stocks based just because you heard of the name, you're going to lose out. If you're going to a Reddit type site, one of these uh, internet sites that basically has these groups of investors who are all chasing different hot items, you're going to lose out. You have to do hardcore research. You have to understand how investments work. You have to understand how to research an investment. And once you buy that investment, after a lot of detailed research, you have to have a self-discipline. Unfortunately, most people only buy investments they've heard of with no research. And then when the investment goes south 80 or 90 percent, they're like, well, I can't sell now or should I sell now? It can't go any lower and every stock can go out of business. So without proper research before you buy, and really a reason to buy and a catalyst for that investment to do better, you're gonna lose out on your portfolio. There's a Delbar study that's gone on for over three decades. The average investor makes half, half of what the equity market makes and half what the bond market makes. The reason for that is, it's pretty simple. Chasing hot investments, not understanding what you're buying, or having a so-called advisor at a Wall Street bank or insurance company or a firm that really is not a family fiduciary money manager, sell you investments, and unfortunately, really selling investments they're required to sell. Protect your portfolio, get proper investment advice, do your research, and if you're unable to do that, call Resney Wealth Management. We do manage larger portfolios. Go to ResneyWealth.com, click on that consultation tab. Have a safe and profitable day.